Quinlan Vos was a Kifa male Jedi Master who lived during the final days of the Galactic Republic. Hailing from the planet Kifu, he was a maverick within the Jedi Order and garnered a reputation for bending the rules. He was renowned for his retrocognition, perceiving others' memories when touching objects they had contacted. Due to this ability, Vos was an expert tracker. Many of his missions took him into the criminal underworld. On one such mission he met Isla Secura and thereafter accepted her as his Padawan. During the Clone Wars, a hut crime lord named Zero escaped imprisonment in the Galactic Republic capital, Coruscant. Vos teamed with Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi to track and recapture him. Finding that Zero had been freed by bounty hunter Cad Bane, Vos and Kenobi followed their trail to Nal Hutta, the hut homeworld, and then eventually to Teth. Here they discovered Zero had been murdered and subsequently failed their attempt at arresting Bane. Later in the war, Vos partnered with Asajj Ventress, a former Dark Side assassin. The duo was unsuccessful in their attempt to assassinate Sith Lord Count Dooku, brutal leader of the Confederacy of Independent Systems. In an attempt to uncover the identity of Dooku's master, Darth Sidious, Vos succumbed to the Dark Side and became Dooku's apprentice, serving the Confederacy as Admiral Enigma. However, he was brought back to the light side of the Force by his love for Ventress. During the final days of the war, Vos moved his Republic troops to Bos Pity. After the fall of the Jedi Order, Vos survived the Great Jedi Purge along with his new lover, Colleen Hentz, and was amongst those the Galactic Empire presumed to have survived and thus targeted to hunt down. Ten years into the reign of the Empire, Vos assisted a network that resisted the Empire and helped fugitive Jedi and Force-sensitives escape to Jabim.